Honore Domie's Ecce Homo is one of the most haunting images of Jesus Christ, produced in the 19th century. Domie's painting employs a moral gaze that transforms the viewer from a passive spectator of the spectacle of mock justice into an engaged witness with something at stake in the sacred drama. In Domie's painting, Jesus is simultaneously mocked and glorified. Wearing a crown of thorns, he is displayed before the crowd as a figure of ridicule. As a twisted symbol of sovereignty, the crown of thorns identifies this as a moment of derision. A figure, maybe Pilate, points scornfully at Jesus. As a shadow visually obliterates his face, Jesus becomes a proxy for every innocent prisoner, every scapegoat of injustice. Positioned on a platform above the visual turmoil of the crowd, Jesus is motionless and resolute. Silhouetted against the sacred light, this calm figure has a heroic stillness. Because he has painted the same color as the balcony, Jesus is visually bound to the crowd below. Enveloped by a mostly monochrome sky, the prisoner is also transfigured. This ghostly figure is equal parts matter and spirit. In depicting this moment of trial, Domier's composition simultaneously binds Jesus to the crowd below and elevates him into the light above. This painting visually places Jesus between earth and heaven. In Domier's Ecce Homo, Jesus is simultaneously exploited as a human sacrifice and exalted as a divine savior. Domier places the viewer within the angry mob. But what is our role within this unfolding travesty of justice? Are we one of Jesus' cruel tormentors? Are we one of his devoted followers? In Domies Ecce Homo, we might be both simultaneously. Either way, the painting directly implicates the viewer in the event. A print by the 17th century artist Rembrandt van Rijn offers a precedent for Domier. Rembrandt's image includes a man pointing, directing the viewer's gaze towards Jesus. There is also a parent holding up a child. These figures help to visually place the viewer within the crowd of mockers. Daumier's painting combines these influences into one central figure. This painting has sometimes been erroneously titled Give us Barabbas. However, the crown of thorns that Jesus wears helps to correctly identify this painting's subject. This is the moment described in the Gospel of John chapter 19 when Jesus is presented to be mocked by the crowd. Pilate declares, Behold the man. Correctly identifying this painting's subject is significant because the edict Behold the Man more directly fits the demands that Daumier makes of the viewer. With his command, Behold the Man, Pilate compels the crowd to look. The derisive gaze of the crowd within the depicted biblical scene corresponds to the viewer's own viewing of the painting. Daumier was able to make the very act of looking at his painting an act of gazing at Jesus. The phrase, Behold the Man, is from the King James translation of the Bible, and the relationship of this pronouncement to our engagement of Daumier's image may be confused by this antiquated language. In contemporary English, the verb to behold is more likely to be associated with an attitude of admiration or even adoration. 
Therefore, to experience the full impact of this command, we should hear Pilate's imperative as, Look at this man. This is a moment of exploitation. The command, Look at this man, captures the weight of this injustice. Honore Domine's Ece Homo succeeds in transforming the viewer from bystander to accomplice. Being made visually present at the trial of Jesus Christ, the viewer is compelled to sympathize with him as an exploited subject. The work situates the viewer between judgment and compassion. 